Hey guys! So today was a great day for amiibo hunting. And it's also a great day for those of you who wanted to play Mario Party 10. So I thought, why not share with you guys what I got today and do an unboxing video. So right here, I got the new Mario Party 10 with the Mario amiibo that is exclusively with this bundle right here. At least for now, I'm hearing that it's gonna come out by itself next month, but that's just a rumor for right now. And along with that, I also picked up a Toad amiibo, and here's a little thing I wanted to say. People thought that Toad was going to be rare because he wasn't originally in any of the uh, other series, the Super Smash Bros. amiibo series, so people thought he was going to be in low supply, but I've seen so many of him today, it's crazy. I've seen at least 15 of him in all the stores I've been to, so he isn't in low supply at the moment, that's for sure. And of course, the only other amiibo that I actually cared about getting, at least for a little bit, like the tiniest bit, but it's only for collector's purposes, Gold Mario. I actually ended up getting a Gold Mario today. That was really lucky of me, and I feel really happy for that. Now, when I said I was doing an unboxing, I'm not going to unbox this because it's a collector's item, and honestly, I don't really see the point in taking it out of the box when this is the same thing as this. So, why even think about that? But you know, you guys can look at it. You know, it's pretty nice. It's gold. And look at the back. It's, uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks exactly like the, uh, the one I have in the bundle, except it's just all gold. And you can see like the detailed eyes, detailed M on his hat. But besides that, everything else is just, you know, looks like you could spray paint one of the original ones gold. And it's kind of like the same thing. So you start off first, I'm going to unbox Toad. Now, I don't like to do really messy unboxings. And yes, I like to unbox them because all the memo I have right now are unboxed. I'm telling you that right now. I kept some of the boxes, but I unboxed all of them. Like, they're all just sitting around my room right now, and they are just out, so they're not in the boxes anymore. I've seen people do unboxings in, like, five different ways. They, like, cut around the edges. They, like, do it from the bottom. Like, there's, like, a little crevice right here. They just cut it with a knife, and they, like, take it out from the bottom. Or they just, like, cut around. Like, I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to open it, like, the, the original way from like there I mean it doesn't really matter that much I just don't want to mess up the packaging too much that's the only thing that I care about but um other than that I don't really care I'm just gonna open it up I just open it up kind of slowly a little bit I gotta it, it's kind of okay a little slowly slide my finger in there yeah and I get it open like that like there's a little flap in the bottom so the back stays attached to it and I just pull it out so that's basically all I do to open mine or I've done it like multiple different ways the different boxes I have are open in like five different ways but I'm going to do it like this for a couple of the other ones I get in the future so okay so we do have Toad and he looks pretty good I mean like I don't know he looks a little bit bigger than I thought he would. Pause. But he does, I don't know. People said that the Super Mario Brothers line amiibos are bigger than the Super Smash Bros. characters. They're like less detailed, but they are bigger and uh, bolder than the other ones. So I can definitely see that with this one. He's exclusive to this series. He's going to be able to be used in Mario Party 10 and in treasure tracker which honestly has a really really bad feature because it only unlocks like little secrets in the game which isn't important whatsoever but I'm gonna move on to the rest of the unboxing real quick so right here we have Mario Party 10 with the Mario amiibo inside so open it up it has like a little little sticker on the back you look in the back if you want it just shows like some of the mini games they have Bowser Party Mario Party and amiibo party are the three main modes in the game uh, I mean, Amiibo Party to me is the most interesting thing, even if it is a little bit flawed. How you gotta like tap the Amiibo for every turn that's yours, and then you gotta use the Wii mode. It's like you're holding both at the same time. It's a little annoying, but uh, the the two best modes in this part in this uh, party Mario Party game are Bowser Party and Amiibo Party. I heard that the actual Mario Party mode in this game is just so bad, but. I don't know. I just wanted to play it. I never owned a Mario Party game, so this is nice to have for 
whatever fun I'm gonna get out of with my friends, so that's cool. So I'm gonna use a knife. Make sure that you're careful, you know. Don't want nobody getting cut. Don't want nobody getting getting injured. So you gotta be careful and make sure you you, you tell a parent and to, to help you out if if you're at that age where um where they buy buy you food, where you depend on them for life and sustenance. But then again, you could be like 25 and depend on them for that. But anyways, I'm just gonna just gonna open look. Mario looks great. Uh, the back of this is pretty much the same. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, they're exactly the same. It's just that um, one is gold and one's red. Uh, so that's the comparison between the two. And that's basically it. There's nothing really that different between them except the fact that one's gold and one's not. They both have the same function in the game, so there's nothing really that different. If you only get this one, guys, it's okay. I mean, yeah, the gold one's nice, but having just this one is kind of like the same thing. So, who cares? I'm going to unbox this one the same way I did my Toad Amiibo. I'm going to go a little bit slow, go around the edges, and see if I can get it opened without messing up the artwork on the back too much. Because I don't want to do that. Because the artwork on the back to me I don't know it's just it's, it's cool it's cool I'm thinking about like changing up my room a little bit to make it so uh, some of the boxes that I have can go up on the walls and make a little display that'd be pretty cool I think so yeah um, this is the way the box looks afterwards and we're going to see the boxes always fall they are going to see Mario right here take him out of his plastic cage and there he is so basically, if you want to imagine it, um, this is Gold Mario. Just uh, imagine him as all gold. This is him right here. Um, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, I can definitely see there's not enough. There's not as much detail on like the uh, overalls, like on the Super Smash Bros. line. There was like a lot of detail on his hands, on his overalls, on his hat. And here, it's just plain basic colors, and no, there's no. Uh, fabric detailing or anything like that it's just a plain figure so it's nice it works for Mario Party 10 Smash Brothers multiple games that use the Mario Amiibo like Mario Kart 8 also uses it um, Hyrule Warriors uses like every single Amiibo so it doesn't even matter so yeah you can use it for a lot of different games and uh, yeah it's nice and here we have the Mario Party 10 game the back is the same thing as the box and uh, don't think I'm going to open it up, actually, because uh, I'm going to wait till I get to play with my friends, to, either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. Something like that. And we're going to have fun. And hopefully it doesn't suck completely, but uh, we can tolerate maybe a, a, a game or two of it without completely getting bored with it. I mean, that's cool, right? So yeah, that's all I got. Today, a lot came out. Um, the Super, Smart, Super Mario Brothers line of Amiibos came out. I only got Toad and Mario and Gold Mario. Um, the rest of them are available: Bowser, Luigi, Peach, and Bowser, 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 Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. Yoshi, that's what I'm gonna say. So they're all available. I've seen a lot of them today. I don't think they're gonna be rare. Nobody's really looking forward to them as much as they were Super Smash Brothers, but uh, they're out there. If you want to get them, go ahead and get them. Uh, they look really nice. They're bigger than the uh, Super Smash Bros. line of Amiibo. So, yeah, totally. If you want to go ahead and do that, then do that. But if you are going to do it, I recommend you do it soon because, you know, the, the availability can change. Somebody could just buy a lot of them. One can become rare out of nowhere. And uh, it's better to buy it right now and don't spend over the price you should. Especially for, like, uh, well, maybe if you want to get a gold Mario, he might be worth more than you would think but other than that I would say don't spend too much on these especially for the ones that aren't gold Mario because they're definitely not worth more than MSRP so just go to the store and go ahead and buy them if you want to and for those of you who are interested there's also been news that Rosalina and Wario and Donkey Kong were going to get their own remakes for the Super Mario Brothers line of Amiibo because they're also available within Super Smash Brothers Super 
I can't talk today. They're also available within Mario Party 10 when you tap on the gamepad, your Rosalina Amiibo from the Super Smash Bros. line, the one that pops up is something completely new, so that's expected to be her Super Mario Bros. line Amiibo. I can talk fucking thank you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, give it a like and go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one and other stuff that I do on the channel. And if you got lucky today and got some good amiibo or got Mario Party 10, go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below. And for now, this is me, Otaku, saying stay gold, and I'll see you guys later.